Hi everyone, welcome to Everything Grace. Thank you, Father, that your spirit is going to speak to us in Jesus' name. Okay, today we're talking about God's timing is always the best scam. So it's talking about there are so many people, so many Christians who sometimes pray for certain things, and then when those things don't appear, or like say maybe someone was sick and then they prayed for healing and then healing doesn't appear. So they 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 be like, ah, oh, God's timing is the best, and they always make such statements. Most times, they have come to say that that is not okay. You shouldn't be like that as a child of God. That should not be your posture. Why? When the Bible actually says it, I think in Mark, where it says, when you've prayed for something, believe that you've received it and you will have it. So, whenever you pray for something. You have actually received it already. Even before, what is so funny is that even before you prayed for it, you already had it in the spirit. And now, your place is now believing that you've received it and you will have it. Now, whenever you pray and then you don't see things, the physical, the automatic answer of people around you is people say, At one, God did not answer their prayers. Or you too can think, God did not answer your prayer. And so you're like, Ah, but something is the best. Yet in this life of believing, in this Christianity, in this believing in Jesus, it is a partnership. God has forever wanted to work with us, to partner with us. That, that if you want something, you partner with God, work out, work it out with God. Know that God will just sit down and decide for your life where to go, what to do, which step to take. No, in this life with the Holy Spirit, this life of God, this life of Jesus, it is a partnership. It is you and the Holy Spirit together, not God alone. God did not create robots to control. In the first place, even for you to believe, you know, God would have just made everyone a believer, but in the first place, God had to let someone's will be like someone to use their will. It's like if you believe, so now you will believe, then you, you actually start sorting your life. It's the same thing with even even all the things that we need for life and godliness. We have to partner with God. We have to work out these things with God. So whenever you are praying for something, never make a statement that God's timing is always the best. It is not okay for you to do that because this is something you're supposed to partner with God. Like let's say maybe you have a sickness and, and you've been praying for years and years and, and it has not been manifesting. The easiest way is to be like, let me just let go. Let me just let this pain stay and all that because God's timing is the best. But that is not okay because if you yourself do not want that sickness, why would you think that God wants that sickness on you? Why would you think that? that, that there, is a, there is a time the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me that I want you want to be well, but I want you to be more well than you want to be well. So in other words, God wants us to be well more than we want to be well. God wants us to be okay more than we want to be okay. And the good news is if you read in first Peter verse first Peter second Peter actually, second Peter chapter one verse three. It says that his divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. His divine power has granted to us, not will grant us, but has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. So you realize that God has actually already provided. Do you know, do you think about that? God, the all-knowing, how can you know that you need something and not have provided for it? God, the all-knowing, the all-powerful, how can he know that you lack something and not have provided? No, he actually has provided. Now, the only issue is because God is spirit, that's the same thing with what he has done. What he has done is spirit, so you do not see it. We can now read from um, John, John chapter 4, verse 24. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. So God is spirit and if you if you want to relate with him, you, you should and you must relate with him through spirit. Now, spirit, I've, like I've told you, in the spirit, we have come to understand that in the spirit, God has provided everything that you need for life and God. So if he has provided everything that you need for life and Godliness, how do you get that that is the spirit to come here on earth you get it through faith and how do you get it through faith by your mouth you speak you think 
you will see yourself already. So, by the Spirit, we know that it's even written, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. So you, you see yourself, maybe the doctor said, you have sickle cells, and you see yourself going for checkup and taking medication and all that. But by the Spirit of God, you understand that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. So even if in the physical, it is different, whatever people are seeing is different, and whatever you feel is different, by the Spirit, by the Spirit of Jesus, you are healed. So it is not up to you to sit down and really sit back and be like, God standing in the face, no. You sit back and actually confess in your heart and believe in your heart and confess by your mouth and by the stripes of Jesus. I'll see you even if I'm taking this medicine, even if I'm going to this hospital, by the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. And you thank God for healing and you grab your healing. I just think many of us Christians sometimes we get lazy to think about faith. I you know sometimes the, the situations can push us so hard that you feel like you want to give up but this is the time sisters and brothers to hold on to the word of God because God is not a liar God is truthful so if you want a job don't sit back and be like God's time is the best and wait one year two years three years God wanted you to have that job like yesterday it's just you who is just doesn't know that God wants you to have that job like yesterday so what you do you actually thank God for that job like you already have it you start calling things that are not as though they are that is how faith works it's like we've already established that everything you need for life and godliness is already done so you start saying thank you father for this job in this place and this place you speak to your business you're like i speak to this business to prosper in every way and you stand by that word even if things start falling apart, you just stand by that word and you don't be there saying God's timing is the best. You use, you also, oh my God, you also work out these things. Like we cannot just sit back and be lazy. We also have a part to play. We also have a part to play in this thing of love, of life, or of salvation, of spirit. We also have a part to play. God provided, so we receive. And how do you receive? By believing, even if you don't see. And so, I want you to quit saying that God's timing is the best and begin working out these things in your life. If it is a job, see yourself with it. Or speak it in your life. If it is healing, speak that disease to leave your body. Or thank God as though you're already healed. Or begin to walk as though you're already healed. Begin to see yourself as though you're already healed. Grab what is yours. Begin. Uh, let, me, let me finish this. God is spirit and those who worship him worship him in spirit and in truth begin to speak the truth about God regardless of how you feel like sometimes for instance like sometimes when we see our loved ones die in nasty nasty accidents and then you hear someone at the maybe at the preaching is like God has taken this person and the temptation is like wow God must be evil how can he destroy someone like that you know? but like you stand on the truth that God is not evil God is evil well. Stand by the truth regardless of whether anyone agrees with the truth. And stand by that truth. You know, sickness is coming and you know, it has brought the truth. It's your life. But the truth is by the truth that you are here. There are so many truths that, that are about COVID and you stand by the truth. You, you, even if you need guidance about a certain thing, because like I told you, this is a partnership, I, I think sometimes our minds can also be limited and God who is all-knowing can actually guide us sometimes, can also help us, or if not all the time, about a certain about a certain thing to do, what step to take. You can ask God for guidance and, and you work it out together. Not that God is going to do everything and throw your hands in the line. God is going to do everything. You have to work it out together. You have to stand on the wire. You have to pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Praying in tongues. Like you pray in tongues. Take breaks. Pray in tongues. Take breaks. Take pray in tongues. Take breaks until you see the, that thing manifest in the physical. Until you have that thing in material. Like, and if at all you don't need to have it in your life, then it's okay. It's okay. Still, God can tell you that that's okay. But some things like healing. Some things like jobs, those are things you have to have as a child of God. Those are things that, you know, you deserve as a child of God. 
things like wealth those are things you deserve so there's nothing like god's timing like you work out these things and you you partner with god god helps you directs you guides you and you you actually have the things that you need so let's stop this thing of saying god's time is the best and and work out these things and partner with god and work out i don't know i'm repeating myself but you are loved and you are blessed